This is your go-to money guy. Benny here in Novograd Square. You would trade your florins that you're going to get in Art Skellig, in the Skellig Seas. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to raid all those smugglers' cases, and you're going to rank up by killing the sirens, and you're going to be rich. But you're going to get heavy, so to do that, you have to open up all the islands. Now, to get up here, I had to keep saving and going back, saving and going back every time I go to level. I finally got on that ship right here at the Golden Sturgeon with the captain, and the pirates were still red skulls, but I got to the point where I could kill them. Now, 61, every, everybody's level is going to be different. At 61, one blow would kill me. But by level 63, I took them on and I got the Art Skellig. Now, I'm going to finish up these series and show you how to make Geralt the boss. Nobody's going to touch you in the entire game. Now, to do that, before I pay the captain here, I think he, I got killed again. I did the kill Junior, find Junior. I met Dexter in the, the steam bass. I did the Priscilla part, but I haven't got to Dandelion. And I met Radabed, but I will not go get Philippa. Okay, so I did that much to get up three points just by the quest that I don't like. You got a quest that will bore you, do the quest that bore you. Because now when I come back, I'm gonna be so powerful and rich that I'm going to do all the whole story above everything. And I'm going to have so much fun killing, killing everything the way I want to kill it. Have fun killing. You'll toy with them. So no more intimidation, no more nothing. Now the AI is not designed for you to do this. Okay, it took me about three years to figure it out. Let's see here, I'm talking to right a bit, but here I am. I'm on Skellige. I'm on Art Skellige, excuse me. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, I'm going to take Roach over to... Crack's castle, but I can't get in because Yennefer is over at him. They're, they're sending off King Bran. Check that out. I can't even get in the castle. So I'm going to walk over here, activate the next fast travel point, and take the lift down. There's a lift here you can take down. Then I'm going to activate the other fast travel point down by the boats. The boats is what I want. I don't want to go see Yennefer. I don't want to go see Croc. Because remember, we're still supposed to be back at Bellin chasing the Baron's family. Oh, another thing, the reason I do this too, you don't want to go into that cave with Kiera, Kiera Metz, because the white, the wild hunt there will wreck you if you do it right away in, in New Game Plus. Now when I go back and go into the cavern and meet that first wild hunt mage, that first boss battle, I'll smack him like a little baby. So that's why I do this. I want to have the advantage. I want to have the power. I want to have the strength. There's the lever. I didn't see it. I'm thinking it's out in the balcony. It isn't. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's over in the right there. I just activated it. Now it's time to go for a boat ride. What you want to do now, I have no urge in hard skelly. Nothing to do with the game. I'm going to open up all the islands. The only way to open it up the first right away is to sail to it. The game will prompt you to each island, but notice I'm doing it before the game prompts me. It doesn't even think I'm in Crotch Castle. It has a gate on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the Northwest Island for first. It not only has a fast travel point, it has a harbor. And then I'm going to show you guys and girls what you're going to see around these islands. Those question marks are all gold, weapons, and armor. They're florins, all in sirens. The sirens and killing the sirens and getting rich will enable you to climb above another three, four, five levels. So then I'll be like eight levels above the other monsters. Even though they might say they're my level, the monsters and foes, they're not because I climbed ahead of the AI. So I'm using the sirens, killing the sirens with my crossbow. Now another thing, before you start jumping in into the treasures and the smugglers cages underneath the barrels, you want to check your broadheads, check your arrows. In my case here, I don't have any split arrows and I don't know why. I don't know how I lost them, but that's my favorite drowner killer, split arrows. But you'll start this, you won't have any arrows loaded at all, it'll be basic arrows. So make sure you load your crossbow with your strongest arrow. Now the ones you're going to see me kill here, it took several shots. But I was using the blunt arrowhead. What I'm going to do when I come back to this, maybe in a day or two, I'm doing cyberpunk and 
Modern Warfare at the same time. I'm doing multiple games on my channel. I'm going to come back and I'm going to try to find a split arrow for starters. If not, I'm going to use the broadhead or the exploding arrow on the, on the sirens. And I won't take two shots to kill them. So I'll just get them on one shot. Here's another thing. I'm almost level 64. These sirens are level 66. I, I'm going to fight them here in a second. You're going to see it. All I got to do is go up another five or six smugglers cases and I'll be a level behind them. And then it's nothing. All it is, you got to load, watch your weight at the top left. I have 90 of 170, 90 something. And then I'm starting to load up. And then I just go either to the blacksmiths in the Skelligays or just hit fast travel, world travel, and go back to the square in Novigrad. Give me any of your florins, turn them into crowns, go see uh, top notch swords, that guy right in the square, and the other, the other uh, blacksmith around the corner. That's how you really sell your loot. So there we are. Now I'm ready to, to fight them. Now notice my white bar at the top left. I'm almost at 64, just between coming here and killing the pirates. But the thing is, don't come until you're comfortable killing those pirates on that ship because that's the tough thing to get by. But once you are, I'm ahead of, I'm ahead of the game. I'm not even supposed to be near Yennefer yet. And it's, I've already got, I've gone past her. I can walk over and activate her, but it'll mess up the game. I already saw a prompt earlier that, I, that they had left, that they knew I was there. I had no idea what it meant. So you don't want to overdo too much. Now, another thing, when the sirens jump on that boat, shoot them with that crossbow immediately. But like I said, I'm a dummy here shooting blunt heads. No arrow at all, no nothing. Now watch, this is going to be a good fight. But I'm wearing my um, Grandmaster Ursine armor. I had to go out of my woman armor. Here's another thing. After I rank up killing these sirens and getting all this money, I'm going to go back in the game and put back on my Grandmaster woven armor because that's my favorite armor. It's the best looking. That's how powerful I'll be. See, I'm using... I'm, every time a drowner grabs you, he takes you deeper. See the redheads, the red dots, the red skull? It doesn't bother me. I don't care. There are only three above me. But you notice it's taking me two, three shots to kill them. So I'm hanging in there. I'm basically watching the blue, the blue bar. I did hit a swallow. You can hit a swallow underwater. Enhanced swallow. I think we're superior. And I had no problem killing these drowners. You're going to see me kill them in a minute. So you're going to repeat this. And then you're going to see my white arrow at the top left almost get the 64 just from this one treasure. Just from this one. Now, as you open up the islands around the map, and take your time, set each one, open up the tra fast travel points, open up the notice boards to give you plenty of quests. Don't do them, just open everything up. You're going to find that more question marks are going to open up. So you literally will get bored of doing this. So put the game away, do something else. But the thing you want to do, if you can get up five ranks, five levels, you're going to smear everything when you come back to Bellum. Everything. And as the game progresses, I think I'll be level at level 60, almost 64. I'll be at level 100 before I even start possibly Heart of Stone. By the time I get to Toussaint and Blood and Wine and get my Erendite at level 100, I'll be level 100 probably when I start Toussaint. So I'll make follow-up videos. Just It'll say follow-up young players guide. So you guys look for it, you young players. I know there's a couple of you out there. I'll make a video for one person. If you need anything, shoot me a comment. If YouTube does me right, I'll be able to see it. I usually make videos for guys that they have trouble and they can't understand. Because the purpose of my channel is to make you a better player. I'm not after YouTube money. I have my own money. So anyway, here I am. I got them. They're done. It looked like a pretty good battle. They put a hurting on me. But I'm going to get ready to rank up to the next rank. When I hit 64, they're going to do less damage to me. So it's all in how much higher they are than you. On land, you see, I'll take on the big beast. But this is sirens in the ocean. You can't, I don't have the advantage of falling back and stringing them out. So this is just one, and look at all the treasure I'm getting out. Obviously, you guys know this, but now that you come back in New Game Plus and do it before the game prompts you, you're going to get ahead of the game, no doubt. And once I found this, <laughs> New Game Plus is even more fun than the regular game because not only do I get to level 100, I get the best swords. And another thing, I went back to my Grandmaster Woven Steel Sword there. 
I turned down the higher sword, a hundred points higher, because it's not enchanted. If you enchant in Heart of Stone, your weapons will stay stay sharp. Now that new sword, I hit a couple of, uh, of juniors people with it, and it got dull real fast. I mean, I'm, I don't want this. So as you see, at level almost 64, I'm still using a level 52 Grandmaster sword. I don't need to change it, but it's enchanted, so don't do what I do. You keep using the new swords. And another thing is, is, is put your your runes in your swords, put them in your inventory, and when you get dull in the middle of a fight, in this case you don't use swords with sirens, but I'm here in Art Scale, you get dull in a fight, just switch swords. Me, I don't switch. My swords don't get dull, they're enchanted. All right, so that's it. You don't need me to show you how I play. You don't need me to tell you how to play. I'm just showing you a guideline on how you get an advantage. I just simply go back to Novograd Square, click there, and see the blacksmith. Keep looting and see Benny change the coin over to crowns. Keep getting treasures. Take your pick of the best armor. Save some armor. Save the weapons. It's awesome. So anyway, anyway guys, anytime you want anything help, give me a holler. Until then, you guys keep on gaming. Have a good one.